We've heard a lot of uh, talk from um, the Home Secretary and the Justice Secretary of better dealing with victims, of uh, female victims of attacks and assaults. But we're just not really hearing anything about trying to prevent these attacks and assaults. Do you think enough of a discussion is being had on that old adage, you know, tough on crime, tough on the causes of crime? Well, certainly um, today's speech, actually, uh, the Home Secretary did talk about the safer streets. And uh, I'm really delighted in Sussex. So uh, it was announced that we got nearly a million pounds for that. And part of our Safer Streets funding is all about going into schools and educating young people about healthy relationships, about sexism and misogyny. So, yes, you're right. Um, it's all about the prevention and starting earlier upstream as well. Part of, part of society is you know, children have access now to social media, uh, to all online content in a way that certainly I didn't growing up I and mean, we didn't even have the, the internet. Um, but it's about what's important is teaching children about healthy relationships. And there's a lot of research that shows that the year eight in particular is a really good year to, to go in and start educating that because, you know, unless young people are taught what makes a healthy relationship, you know, what sexism is, what misogyny is, because that's when it starts, then, you know, it's unsurprising that a lot of children grow into young adults and we see the misogyny and the sexism and we know, of course, where that all, where that all ends. A lot of homicides are because, you know, male violence against women it all starts with a, with a hatred of women. Katie, I'm really glad you're bringing this up because I, I try and have this conversation regularly and certainly on this show and I sometimes feel I'm just shouting into an abyss about this with people saying, oh, there's no direct correlation between violent porn and attacks on women and yet I'm a woman, I've got lots of female friends, I'm hearing repeatedly all the time about women no longer feeling safe when they're going on a date, attitudes towards them radically changing, rape culture in schools. We've, you know, now got the rough sex defence clause. We, we do have a problem in society now, don't we? We do. And it starts for a woman, a young girl, at a, quite a young age. I, I like you, talking to friends, you know, when's the first remembrance that something happened to you? For me, it was eight years old. I remember um, what, what happened then. I remember the first time a man exposed himself. I was uh, 13 on a school trip. I mean, you know, this, this becomes just every day for us. And I think we're at a seminal moment for society. This is our opportunity now to really do something different. So I am certainly, you know, as a police and crime commissioner, I'm one of those leaders that needs to speak out now and say, enough is enough. This is our chance. Because if we're going to stop this, you know, in this country, a woman gets killed at the hands of a man every three days. And that hasn't changed for a decade. And we are doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. And we know what that means. So this is our opportunity as a society, as a country, to really take a stand and look at this in a different way and say enough is enough. We want change.